Hello and welcome back to another video of the Blitzball Super Season, Super Season 1. So we concluded the league in the last video where we came out on top of the table by a single point, uh, winning 5 during drawing 4 and losing 1 game. And with those results... I'm thinking the tournament is going to be a lot more difficult than the league itself. Like, there's a little bit more room for error with the league. But with the tournament, you can't afford to lose a single game. And against the, the Sykes, we didn't win at all. We drew both our games. Uh, so yeah, this should be... Oh, interesting. We get a we get a buy into the buy into the next round, where we face the glories or beasts, and the Sykes also get a buy. So let's just quickly see how these games go. Oh, the Fangs beat the Goers. Two absolute thrashings on either side. Oh, this is looking. Ugh. So we're playing the Glories, who finished second actually in the league, and we could meet the Sykes in the final if we get there. But it's nice that we got the buy. I wasn't expecting that. Um. Let's quickly take a look at what we're up against here. Ooh, man, this is rough. These guys have their second techs. They all have... Damn, this goalkeeper's got anti-nap and wither. Not that we're using these things to shoot, but still. They've all got drain... They've all got their own tackles. Midfielder's got two passes, a volley shot, and volley shot two. This is going to be difficult. This is going to be very difficult. And the goalkeeper's got 15 catching, no super goal, Leo, so that does help us. Uh, so I'm thinking we need want to go down the left-hand side. 10 attack plus the drain tackle. Yeah, we're going to have to pick on Nida a little bit. So I think we'll switch those two. In terms of defending, I think they're both tricky customers, so we'll just have to go with, with this. Alright, 15 catching on the goalkeeper. We attack down Waka's side. Hopefully we can earn some results, but it's really good that the goalkeeper doesn't have super goalie. Uh, so just gonna start off a bit down this way. I think we can play. I mean, it is in our favor. Whack of one versus one. The defender. Fifteen endurance versus the eleven plus whatever it is for the tackle. I can't remember, but it is in our favor. That's for sure. It definitely is now. Whacker going through one goal. I think the only one that can stop us is Nida. Now, is she going to do her tackle? The answer is no. Real chance early on for Waka. Boom! Oh, it's saved! And the volley shot of the rebound! That's another save! Double save by Mew. Come on. If, if, if that I would have scored that would be his first goal of the season. Bugger. Oh dear. Defender, come forward. Good boy. Good. We got a 2v1. That that helps us. And we're gonna take the ball back very nicely. So, keeper already coming out on top. Ooh, there's an opportunity here. Shoot the ball into Waka. It's gonna get the better of the Thunder Nida again, you would have thought. 
Yep. And again, 15 to 10. They gotta start using their tech. Maybe they don't have the HP for it. They gotta have the HP for it. Anyway, 18 to 15 this time. Fly straight in. Much, much, much needed goal. I love her outfit. It's so, it's so suited to the water. It's gotta slow her down now. Anyway, she walks through Waka like it's absolute nothing. And... Ooh, she's got a 2 versus 1. She is going for the shots. If he takes the ball, that'd be big. That's big. Because she could have been in trouble. We should be able to just move the ball into Waka again. Very comfortable. If we get a second goal, I'm, I'm feeling very, very confident to get through to the final. And this is just a severe weakness every time. Zalitz, though. Zalitz is a very, very, very strong defender. And it means I have to pass it. I won't be able to one versus one him comfortably. And there's no way. There's no way Datto is scoring. So we just have to make a little bit of space for Waka to get a shot. Gotta beat the defender again. Should be able to do so. I don't. There's a dip, but it's in. That's huge. That gives the Oryx the advantage majorly at halftime. And you'd imagine it's going to be very, very difficult for the Glories to come back in the second half. I'm really disappointed with them, though, to be fair. They, they were seconds. And it's been one of the more comfortable games that we've had. In fact, there was rarely a very comfortable game in the league. Now, if somehow... She can get through the tackle, which she does. There is no block here. There's a serious chance. Oh, that is a big save by Keeper. No super goalie. That would have... Yeah, just trying to make a little bit of space. Trying to waste some time more than anything. I know that I'm going to lose the ball. I was going to lose the ball regardless because I had Zalitz on my back. Let's just go with this. I was just trying to waste some time. It was close to half time. It kind of worked out well. That was a big save by uh, Keeper. A big, big save. keep that two goal cushion that easily could have went in and it will be half time 2-0 to the Aurochs it's me putting up a couple of big saves there any increase to keep a goal oh he's up to 11 now oof 17 endurance? Holy moly. Oof, he's a tank. I thought I could put him in midfield. Who's taking the ball from him? Uh, yeah, they're not taking the ball from him in midfield either. That was a weakness we had before, but now he can just stroll on through with no problem. Halftime oranges have been consumed. The second half is underway. And it's the glories that win the blitz off. They need a very, very, very quick response if they're going to get through to the final. But they don't. They lose possession early. And Jasu is able to recycle 
go back to the defence. Who can do as they please, it would appear. Quick go into Waka though. It's been a weakness all game that's been preyed upon. And Nada has refused to use her special tackle. I'm not sure as to why, but there must be a reason why, because that could have made things a lot more difficult getting through, but we're able to just walk through with impotence here. And it's just led to a numerous golden opportunities for the Aurochs. And they're going to get another opportunity here, 3 0. We'll feel the confidence to the max. Oh, they actually do have super goalie now. But it doesn't matter. The damage has been done in the sec uh, first half and immediately in the second. Three, three goals, you'd think. There's no way back now. Oh, her passing's been cut in half too. That's awkward. But she'll be able to tank through Waka, no problem. Hmm. Oh, Jasso again. Piercing tackle. In fact, just dribble. Because it's not like, I don't think Savannah's got the, oops, that's a little bit too much. Oh, I just about got away with it. Yeah, Savannah, Savannah now at this level can threaten Jasu on the ball. Not by herself, anyway. He is, um, he's really developed into the absolute rock of the meat, oh, but rock of the team, rock of the midfield. Someone that can pass the ball with ease. And is a, an absolute rock in possession too. Uh, if they don't want to come and get the ball, that's absolutely fine. It is absolutely fine. In complete control now, the Aurochs. Maybe they should have played a little bit more defensive like they are now to make things a little bit more difficult, but. Now, I've been, been very fortunate. First half, the goalkeeper didn't have super goalie. That could have made it a lot more difficult. The defenders have not been using their tackle for some reason. Um, you know, the midfielder, the defenders don't have brawler, which again can make things very, very, very difficult. So all these things have just added up to a very, very comfortable and good display uh, from the Aurochs, really. Can throw it into Waka. No problem. Moving the ball around very nicely now. The weakness is, is very clear to see. It's not. Oh, there you go. She's now used Drain Tackle for the first time in the game for some reason. For some reason, she's not been using it. Quite frankly, she should have been. Because that would have made life a lot more difficult for me, that's for sure. Anyway, I think we're going to give up possession here. Balapa takes the ball. He's got 17 shooting. 15 endurance. A very, very well-rounded player, but he's been starved of possession. There's a decent chance he's going to give up possession here. He does so, but the Aurochs defense has been right at it. They've been very, very solid. Apart from the end of the first half where they did underperform slightly uh, but the goal but the goalkeeper keeper he was uh, he was on fine form and it looks like it could be 4-0 are we gonna see a super goalie come up 18 to 15 and it's a comfortable fourth a fourth goal for Waka and that's just the cherry on top for the Aurochs, the glories have been absolutely smashed, a really disappointing end to the, the super season for them, though the you would say has been pretty successful, they have come second and um, in the tournament here they are losing to the first seed. 
But who will meet the Orox in the final? Again, Jasu. Absolute rock in the field. And a very good display from the Orox. And probably the easiest easiest uh, game of the uh, season for them. So who will they meet? It will be the Elbed Sykes. A struggle through the Ronso Fangs in overtime. Guillermo Guadalupe, they're not wasting any time there. And they snatch the victory. And it will be, it's probably the best final you can ask for. These two teams in the, in the league season both drew, so I can anticipate a very, very, very close final. Be sure to watch it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Cheers.